few months ago, I completed Subnautica all in one video, so I figured it would be a good idea to take on its sequel. So here we go, Subnautica Below Zero, and make sure that you hit that like button if you enjoy this. This is the farthest that I can take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me, and Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Approaching 4546 speed. Surface temperature is Drop pod deployed. I don't think anybody has ever landed safely on this planet. Welcome to 45, feet. Thank you. I will. Oh my. Okay. There we go. All right. Well, we got some stuff. Let's go pick it up. Damn, there's so much stuff here to grab. All right. Well, I should probably make my way out of this area. These plants are so crazy looking. They like heat you up as well, which is cool. Here we go. My first jump into the water. Ah, okay. So now we begin classic survival game stuff. We got to grab absolutely anything that looks shiny and useful. Ooh, a little cave. Look at all this. There's freaking gold and silver in here. Okay. So I'm guessing I got to make my way over to that little life pod. Ribbon plant. What does this do? Oh, that might actually be useful for batteries because I wasn't able to pick up the different mushrooms here. My new little home is looking pretty snazzy, actually. How does that work? Would this place not just be full of water every single time I open up the door? So I've come to this planet to try and find out what happened to my sister, who apparently died of employee negligence while working for Altera. So maybe that's not what actually happened, because we don't trust Altera. I made myself some basic tools, and now we got to go out and look for some stuff and scan everything. It seems like the kelp forests also grow on this side of the planet, too, except the seeds are red over here. Interesting. Wow, a sea glide fragment already. And there's another one. Sweet. Damn, I've already found the last one. This one's like right beside my life pod. I turned those creep vine seeds into some silicon and lubricant. Then I made myself some flippers and a knife. After crafting up some copper wire, I was able to make the sea glide. I used my new knife to collect up some creep vine samples, which I then used to make up some fiber mesh, which is then needed to make up the oxygen tank. I made my way on over to this emergency supply cache, where I then unlocked the mineral detector and found a bunch of other items. I found this creepy cave entry but there's probably some good stuff down there that I'm gonna need. What the? Get get off of me. Okay, yeah, great. Just steal my stuff. That's cool. Some of the wildlife down here is very grabby. Yeah, I will be speaking to HR about this. Oh, hey, a graph trap. Oh, what? Okay, this thing just froze me solid. What? I didn't even know you could do that. Stay away, freezy fish. I dropped all my items back at my base and then went on over to check out that cave. I should have known there was floaty boys in here. God damn it. At least we can get some sulfur though. So it turns out these plants right here can give you oxygen. That's pretty handy. That means that we can stay down here for longer. What the hell is this? <gasps> Whoa, mobile vehicle bay. Okay, that's great. I found another nest with a laser cutter fragment and an egg on the inside. Cool. Eventually I stumbled upon some familiar looking technology. Yep, there's probably gonna be a lot of precursor stuff in this one. And there we go, of course. They're trying to send me some sort of message. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. All right, well, I guess we got to go find that at some point. I went back to my base to drop off some items, and then soon after, I found the sea truck fragment. I tried to outsmart the game by using an almost empty battery to craft this mineral detector. Unfortunately, the game is smarter than I am. I found my way down to this deep biome, and all see it's kind of creepy down here. And we've got these things to worry about. Oh, great. Okay, that's terrifying. Oh, <laughs> Dude, leave me alone. I see some stuff down here. We got some precursor stuff and then also like a normal little Altera base. Can we scan this? Nope. All right, at least I got plenty of these little bubble things to keep me alive down here. Hey, another sea truck fragment. We just need one more. Okay, what is this? Rebreather. Sweet. I was getting really low on oxygen here, and I thought I might die before I got to the plant, so I decided to do something smart. You can eat these bladder fish, and basically it will give you just a little bit of oxygen, almost like an emergency supply. It sounds like somebody's banging on, like, water pipes or something. I imagine that's probably the precursor. Yay, the last sea truck fragment I needed. I went back to my base to craft up the mobile vehicle base. 
pay and then deployed it so I could see what the sea truck would cost. Uh, it's kind of expensive, but we might be able to manage that if I can get the lead. On my search for materials, I managed to find another little Altera base. Hey, habitat builder. Then I noticed that I really needed oxygen and I did not believe that I would be able to make it to the surface. Everything started to go dark and I somehow made it. I don't even understand how. I took a serious risk by using an empty battery to make this power cell. And yes, I am smarter than the game. Eventually, I had all the materials that I needed to make up this sea truck. Man, this thing looks really cool. How do I get in? Oh, there's a hatch in the top. Ooh, damn, this is awesome looking. And it turns on the freaking dime, dude. That's crazy. It feels a lot slower than the sea moth from the first game. I took my sea truck out for a little spin and eventually stumbled upon what I thought might have been like a shark cage or something. Something. Turns out they were doing some pangling research here. I got a ping telling me to go over to this Delta Station dock. Okay, now we gotta explore this island. I took about five steps before I got a warning. This is a recorded message. If you can hear this, you're trespassing. If you know it's good for you, you'll get the hell out of here. Don't tell me what to do. So I decided to explore the island. Stop right there, Altera. You're out of bounds. I'm not with Altera. Then your position is doubly precarious. What do you mean? If you're telling the truth, you're out of your mind. If you're lying, there'll be hell to pay. Wait! Who are you? Stay off my land. All right, now we have a new location to check out. I found Delta Station right up at the top. We've got a tower up there to check out, and we got a couple little spots down here too. All right, what do we got in here? Lots of stuff to scan, of course. We got a map showing off all of the base locations. Look at this, it's a futuristic Newton's Cradle. I made my way up to the tower and then checked a status report. Yeah, look at that, there's only two humans on this planet, me and that woman. After making my way back to the sea truck, I decided to come down here and see if I could help this precursor with his plumbing issue. And that's when I found this alien base. So it turns out that this mysterious voice needs a storage medium. So we got some alien robots climbing up the walls and some ion cubes. Cool. How long have you been stored here? Longer than that. Warning. Sanctuary power. Critical. Our data can be downloaded from the terminal. We may speak more once the transfer is complete. Storage medium. Excellent. Brace to Chasto. Brace? Identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. You are in my head? I offered you my PDA! Get out! Oh no. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? My mind is not a component! You sound angry. We will allow your moment to process. Don't you go silent on me. Hello? Okay, great. So now I have an alien in my head. I feel like this could be the very start of a new sitcom. The alien voice spoke to me again and told me that his name is... Oh. And that he's part of the precursor race, known as Architects. Okay, so along with finding out what happened to my sister, I now have a new mission. I need to make this dude a body. It seems like I've earned the respect of these sea monkeys. Now they're bringing me gifts. Simp. After gathering up some stuff, I decided to follow that woman in the prawn suit. While on my way, I managed to stumble upon another alien artifact. Of course, this woman would have to go in the most dangerous direction. Look at these things. They're terrifying looking. Oh man, those things are even bigger. Holy crap, this place is scary. Oh dude, oh, wait, it kind of looks like a whale. We might be fine. I made it over to where she was last pinged from and I just went searching down in the depths. We got some more sea monkey nests over here. Ooh, oh my God. Damn, they have some good stuff. Okay, so I was correct about these things. They're called glow whales, and it doesn't look like it wants to eat me. After a little bit of searching, I managed to find something, but it turns out it's just an Altera base. Omega, to be specific. This place is really messed up. Something bad happened here. It looks like some sort of reactor blew up in this room and just kind of destroyed the whole place. I was searching around for some more stuff, and then I got attacked by this terrifying thing. I don't even know what it is. It's just really scary looking. My inventory was completely full, so I gave up my search to that woman and decided to head home instead. 
At some point, I unlocked this thing called a quantum locker, and the best way to describe it is it's just an ender chest, which is pretty cool, actually. I crafted up a depth module for my sea truck. Now I can go down 300 meters. Alan told me the location of a nearby artifact, so I went down to find it. There's a bunch of fragments in this cave, so I managed to unlock the laser cutter and the propulsion cannon. Eventually, I found the artifact and I scanned it. What is that noise? <gasps> Oh, what the hell was that? That was so big. Oh, I don't want to be here. <gasps> no, it's coming for me. No. <laughs> oh my God. That thing is absolutely terrifying. Please don't come near me. Please stay away. <gasps> oh, he's trying to eat that thing. That thing was so scary looking. I do not want to go back that way. I managed to find some fragments from my sea truck. These are basically like little carriages you can add onto the back. That other one was a fabricator one, and then we've got an aquarium too. I spent a long time searching for that woman, but eventually I stumbled upon her base. I guess I'll have to enter through the moon pool. At least she's not going to be able to use this prawn suit on me. All right, let's head on through. Okay. Oh, this place looks cool, man. Holy crap. Oh, oh I was not expecting that. I told you to stay off my land. You trained that thing? Next time I let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not, Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. All right, so she just has the giant dog thing as a pet and a giant reaper skull. She is a badass. So it turns out that this is Marguerite. She was part of the Degassi crew from the first game. I guess she's just survived all these years on this planet and somehow got to this area. Okay, so this giant beast is called a snow stalker. Okay, so we got a new mission. We need to go up to that giant tower and disable it. But first, we're going to need to make this override module. And I have no idea where to get the parallel processing unit. I decided to build a temporary base right beside my life pod, just so we can have some extra storage boxes and organize the items. I'm probably going to want to put a fabricator in here as well, so I needed to power it. And there we go. I took a break from organizing my stuff to go over and grab another artifact Alan told me about. I couldn't figure out how to get to it immediately, and then I managed to stumble upon some more sea truck fragments. I gave up my search for the moment so I could craft some other stuff. So I made up a modification station and upgraded my knife. I went out searching for that artifact again and managed to stumble upon some sort of mining operation. Ooh, a headlamp. And we got some prawn suit fragments here as well. Awesome. Okay, so we got a little bit of an issue. We're quite deep in the water and there's really only a few of these oxygen plants to keep me alive. I gotta make sure that I'm constantly managing this. I managed to fully unlock the prawn suit. We gotta make one of these soon. These things are awesome. So my sea glide ran out of power. Great. I decided to just swim up and see if there was any oxygen plants and then I could spend my time swapping out my batteries. I figured maybe we might be able to try and find some more oxygen up here. So I just kept going and going. Eventually, I realized the only way to survive was to try and get to the surface, but that was just not going to happen. And everything went black. I respawned in my sea truck, but I was missing so many items. So I went back down to the area to see if I could find any of my stuff. And I found a bunch of stuff that I missed the first time. I found pretty much all my stuff, which was great. After all that, I finally went over and looked at the artifact. And oh my god, is this what they looked like? That is so crazy looking. I went back to my base camp and made up the prawn suit. Then I crafted up a fabricator module for my sea truck. And then I made a storage module. It took me a little while to figure out how to connect them because obviously they don't come with like an instruction booklet. But eventually I figured it out. Damn, that looks pretty cool. All right, let's check this out. Damn, this is a lot more spacious than I thought it would be. So we got some lockers here on the wall with a good amount of storage. Um, We got the fabricator here, which is awesome. Dude, that's going to be so handy. More storage. God damn. All right, let's test this thing out. How fast does it turn and move? I feel like the turning isn't as good as it was before and maybe it's a little slower. It's kind of hard to tell. I took the sea truck out for a little spin so I could collect up lots of materials and bring them back. On my travels, I managed to come across a gigantic spaceship that was crashed and sunk into the ocean. I would imagine it was another victim of the quarantine weapon. I found an opening and went in to explore. And what would you know? There's the parallel processing unit. Well, at least a fragment of it. I also managed to find some of these reactor rods, which is basically fuel for a nuclear reactor. I searched absolutely everywhere, but I only found two of these fragments. But then again, this is only a section of the ship. There must be more elsewhere. What on 4546B is that thing? Vent garden. 
and it's a juvenile so that means there must be a gigantic version of this somewhere that is so scary can i go inside after searching for a bit i found another section of the ship and there's the last piece i needed i found the reinforced dive suit on the crew quarters and then went back to my sea truck to see what this thing would cost that's not too bad i got everything i needed to make the parallel processing unit and then crafted the test override module after this i made my way back to the delta station and then went all the way up to the top where the satellite tower is i inserted the test module and then activated it yes satellite is down all right i guess it's time to meet up with marguerite again all right altera you win this round come find me at my greenhouse i'm about a kilometer east of your position up on an iceberg I have a present for you. On my search for this greenhouse, I managed to find another alien artifact. This place was not easy to find. Damn satellite hasn't passed by in a while. I guess that was your doing. Sam's not the only one in the family who knows, knew, what to do with vague directions and old wire. She was an original, that sister of yours. First time I met her, I was sure she was Altera through and through. Not a crease in her uniform sending those damn bird bots to buy everywhere. Then, she surprised me. Maybe a little too much. Meaning? If you really want to know, there's a PDA on the bench that can point you in the right direction. You need anything else? Don't bother me. <laughs> but you can help yourself with the greenhouse. I can do to repay you for getting those spine pests off my back. So it turns out that Sam was working against Altera because she figured out that they wanted to weaponize some Karar bacterium that they found on a frozen Leviathan. She managed to make a cure for it and then stashed it away in a cave. She was planning to cure the Leviathan, but Marguerite convinced her to blow it up to try and get rid of it altogether. And Marguerite said that she wanted to blow up their lab, which explains the Omega Lab explosion. I was checking out this deep cave, and then Alan told me that we're nearby a part of his body. It's probably a little bit too deep for us right now, though. Ooh, these little red things can make benzene. Nice. And then these little mushrooms are exactly what I needed to make hydrochloric acid. I went back to my base and then made up the charge fins, which charges the battery of whatever is in your hand when you're swimming. But when you combine it with the sea glide, it's the ultimate combo because you're constantly charging the battery on the sea glide when you're using it. So I can just swap out the batteries on the sea glide when they're full to an emptyish one. I made myself another storage module for my sea truck. And then I went after some artifacts that Alan was telling me about. This one brought me to an island where I can see some Altera stuff. And that's another artifact. I really want to explore this place, but it's too cold and I don't see any thermal lilies around. Maybe we can come back in the prawn suit. I went back to my base and then had to make up an ion battery because for some reason this headlamp is extremely expensive. I mean, it seems pretty useful, but at the same time it replaces my rebreather mask, which is kind of essential. Seeing as Marguerite's at her greenhouse, I figured I'd be able to snoop around in that back room that the snow stalker was blocking. You again. I was really not expecting to find her back here, but I did find a really nice upgrade for my sea truck. Man, this place is a mess. This woman is an absolute slob, but I gotta respect the decor. All right, well, there's another alien artifact. I was searching around for some more materials, and then I ran into this big fella again. Oh, dude, that thing is so scary looking. I don't even know what the hell that face is. Okay, look, look, look. I'm not, I'm not a threat. I'm not food. Yeah, okay. I think he's, he's leaving. No, oh, <laughs> what the hell? Lights off, lights off. I have no other way of dealing with this. Oh, okay, great. In hindsight, I actually did have a way. That little thing, that module, we could have used that to shock him off of me. I just didn't realize it. Whoa, is that an adult jellyfish thing? It looks like it's eating the heat out of this little vent down here, so I think I need to try and go in there. Really doubt the sea truck would fit, so let's just try and sea glide in. Feels like I'm going through hyperspace or something. This is so weird. Oh, spiral plant. I think that's what I need to make, like, uh, something. Synthetic fibers. Yes, that's it. Oh, hell yeah. I'm gonna get all this stuff. Hey, there's our friend again. Oh. Oh, <laughs> he's, like, putting his face through. Oh, I'm so glad that he can't get me in here. It'd be really bad if he could, like, kill this thing and, and come in and grab me. I gotta be cautious when I'm leaving here, though. I gotta make sure it's not gonna, like, follow me out or something. I did a couple trips in and out and actually managed to collect every single piece. I went back to my base and crafted up a bunch of synthetic fiber. And then I upgraded my oxygen tank and my sea truck's depth module. Then I made a reinforced dive suit and the water filtration suit, which apparently will just give me water occasionally. And then I made the afterburner upgrade for my sea truck, which will pretty much just give me an occasional speed boost. All right, well, I'm guessing this is just like a bag of my sweat. Mmm, delicious. It's time to scan some more of these alien artifacts. This one's from some sort of crazy mining operation. I really struggled to get out of this area because this dude would not leave me alone. And I had still not yet realized that I could shock him off of me. 
But don't worry, I figured it all out towards the very end of this playthrough. My sea truck can go a lot deeper now, so I think it's time to head down here and see if we can find this body piece. I was just minding my own business, and then... What the hell is this? Get off of me! <gasps> it's like a weird trap thing. I don't like that. I made my way down through this biome and found this alien base. Damn, there's just a dead architect here. Well, at least what's left of it. That's one down, two more to go. I explored around this area a little bit and actually managed to find some nickel and magnetite. Then I went after another artifact that Alan told me about. I finally had the aquarium module unlocked for my sea truck. So I made one and put it on. I figured maybe you can like read the fish in here or something. I don't know. I filled one side up with bladder fish and the other side with peepers. I am so confused right now. How the hell did that other fish get in there? They couldn't have made that, right? I have no idea. I took my prawn suit back over to that island to explore. Oh, and I kitted it out with a grappling hook and a mining drill. I stumbled upon the Phi Robotics Center, where I managed to find a spy pingling. Then I went inside of the lab, and this is where Sam used to work. I found a snow fox hover pad fragment. I managed to find the cold suit fragment in one of the rooms, which I suppose we're probably going to need in this kind of terrain. Although I have no idea how to get snow stalker fur. Looks like they were studying this architect teleporter. Doesn't seem like we can activate it though. I went back to my base to craft up a spy pingling and a remote to operate it. All right, let's test this thing out. And oh, interesting. Okay, <laughs> I want to see myself. There I am. Dude, this is a weird view. All right, let's go in here. So I, I guess we could just kind of check out these little caves and stuff using this dude. I don't know if there's like anything in here I'm supposed to grab. Yeah, just a bunch of quartz. Um, Anything else up here? Nope, more quartz. And we can only grab four pieces. Okay, cool. Oh, there's some magnetite here. Okay, I'm already full. I don't know how to drop things. Oh my God, I am freezing cold. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm lucky there wasn't much more to that cave. I would have died out here. I went exploring in the prawn suit and ran into a snow stalker. I figured killing them was a good way to try and get their fur, so I went ahead and did that. Haha, -ha, get wrecked. All right, give me your fur. How's this work? No, it's not working. Oh no. Okay, so I just killed this, this beast for no reason, I guess. Cool! I finally found the last fragment I needed for the snow fox. On my continued exploration, I actually managed to run into a snow stalker den. I figured maybe I might be able to use the propulsion cannon to pick it up and like throw it away or something. This has got to work. No! <gasps> no, it's way too big. Okay, we just got to get out of here, man. <laughs> okay, let me grab this. Let me shoot this at him. Boom! Oh, that did nothing! Oh, God, get off of me! <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, let me just... Ah, there you go. That's what you get. <laughs> Dude... Oh, I don't even know what to do now. I thought that would work. It really did. I managed to sneak around past the adult to check out these little babies over here. Aw, look at them. They're so adorable. Ooh, we can play with them. Aw. Hey, little guy. Oh, okay. Well, that's just rude. Maybe if I brought them some food, that would maybe make them happy or something. I want my own one of these. Marguerite has one. I need one too. And I don't seem to be able to pick them up. Cool. After more exploring, I managed to find another little Altera base. Wow, look at this. The first base I ever found that wasn't trashed. Whoa, there's the frozen Leviathan. Holy crap, that thing's crazy. And yeah, there is Krar on it. This was Sam's necklace. She never took it off. Yeah, they probably pulled it off her body, I would imagine. I found a report that confirms that Sam is indeed dead and that she likely died from a fall. They also think that she might have vandalized the place, which definitely falls in line with what we know. It's just unfortunate that all that seemed to just lead to nothing because they still have access to this Leviathan. Damn, this thing is crazy looking. Look at those freaking chompers on this thing. What's this? Insert sample? Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. She stored an antidote somewhere. We could probably cure this thing. I just gotta find that. Honestly, if the Karar was dangerous enough that the architects couldn't even stop it, then, you know, this type of stuff really should not exist anymore. What the hell was Altera doing? Like, <laughs> so stupid. I think it would be kind of considered common sense if a super intelligent, like, race of beings could not, like, solve this, then, you know, maybe don't touch it. <laughs> All right, what's down this way? Oh, look at his hand, man. Oh, there's, like, no Karar on that, though. Maybe they scraped it all off. And we got a prawn suit over here. Can we do anything with this? Doesn't look like it. This Leviathan is really cool looking though. I honestly, I kind of want to see one of these swimming around. I wonder if we can like defrost it or something. Just like chuck it in a giant microwave or something. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, snow stalker babies. I brought you a pingling. Do you like me now? Nope. Okay, great. All right. Do you like fish instead? Oh, we can feed it. There we go. 
enjoy. There you go, buddy. Oh, okay. Uh, can we do anything with you now? Are you friendly? Oh, he's gonna snap at me again. Yeah, okay, great. How do I make them love me? I actually managed to find the antidote while searching through some caves with my little robot. All right, now we gotta make our way all the way back over to where that Leviathan was and see if we can cure it. Oh, man, I just killed its parent in front of it. Ooh, some fur. All right, Sam, this one's for you. All right, how do we how do we do this? Oh, here we go. Boom. Hope this thing's not afraid of needles. There we go. Is it gonna work? Oh! <gasps> It's working! Yes! We did it! Okay, so we got one more mission to do on this planet. We gotta focus on building Alan's new body. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need this anymore, but I have all the pieces of fur I need to make this cold suit. Okay, so I wanna use the snow fox, but I think I'm gonna need like a little base on the land for it. So I pinned a bunch of recipes on the side and just collected up everything I would need to make everything there. After a lot of grinding, I finally had everything I needed. One snow fox coming up. All right, so now we have a nuclear reactor powering this little base. After customizing my snow fox, I decided to take it out for a spin. This thing is, uh, it's kind of hard to control, but it feels kind of fun to ride on. I don't know. All right, let's see if we can jump this bridge. This is when Alan told me that there's probably a part of his body on the opposite side of this bridge. And I found this thing to scan. So I gotta replace this last hydraulic fluid so I can fix this bridge. It's honestly not expensive, so we can grab all that stuff real quick. So I went off and grabbed the gel sacks and the creep vine seeds and crafted it up. And then I filled up my aquarium with a bunch of penguins. So I replaced the hydraulic fluid and extended the bridge. There's probably like another base over here somewhere. We're gonna have to explore though. Alan told me to head northeast, but also to watch out for creatures underneath the ice. Oh, what the hell? What is happening? Oh! Dude, what? Oh, hello, ice worm. Okay, get out of here. <laughs> what the hell, dude? I didn't even take any damage for some reason. I managed to unlock the thumper, which I completely misinterpreted as something else. And I probably should have made one, considering what's gonna happen next. I can hear you over there. Yeah, there you are. Okay. <laughs> He's just waiting for me to come out now. I don't like this. Is it safe? Can we come out yet? Like, oh, oh there we go. Yeah, it's never going to be safe. We're just going to have to power through. Oh, he's just waiting. He's taunting me. I don't like this. Okay, let's just go. Oh, <laughs> dude, these things are so scary. They really are. Oh, hello, snow stalker. Don't go that way, buddy. That There's a giant ice worm back there. I wouldn't recommend it. Oh, I have no idea where I'm going. It's too dark for this. And there's freaking ice worms everywhere. Okay. Oh, great. There's like a rib cage over here. That doesn't mean it's safe, but I, I don't know. Maybe something bigger over here is killing them. <laughs> I don't know if I'm hoping for that or not. Probably not. So there's a fresh-ish one over there. It's probably not that fresh because it is really cold here. It could be getting preserved really well. I don't really know. 95 meters long? Are you kidding me? So we've got some architect stuff up ahead, but these things are like hot on my tail. It's honestly ridiculous. Like, oh my god. Dude, leave me alone. God damn it. All right, where the hell is this base or whatever I'm looking for? Oh, oh okay. Move, move, move. Oh, dude. Oh, Oh, it almost hit me there. Seriously, like they are so sporadic. They just come up and, and go in like random freaking directions. So I made my way down to the base and then I found a crushed architect underneath these rocks. There we go. He unlocked his tissue. At least I know where I'm going this time. Whoa. Oh my God. That is horrifying. <laughs> If he did that to a freaking snow stalker, could you imagine what it would do to me? I'm just, I'm getting out of here. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be part of this. I'll be honest. If I was given the choice between keeping an alien voice in my head for the rest of my life and going through Ice Worm Central, I would pick the alien voice 10 times over. It was at this point I realized that I probably should have made this thing before I went over to that icy area. Yeah, my bad. I had no idea what it actually did. We got another alien artifact to check out thanks to Alan. This one's like a fossil site or something. That looks like a giant trilobite. Wait a minute, what? Teleportation module, what? Oh, man, that sounds cool. We need to make that. And there's a tether tool for it. Okay, so obviously I have to have that on me to bring myself back. Before heading back to base to craft that, I decided to go around looking for some more module fragments. Oh, fuck, okay. <laughs> And I fully unlocked the docking station and the sleeper modules. All right, so here's the teleportation thingy. Pretty cool looking. All right, let's try this thing out. Oxygen. Ooh, and we're here. It took a couple seconds to get here, but you know what? Still pretty cool. I did lose a bunch of charge though. Damn. Okay. I thought I could like freely use this whenever I wanted to, but I guess not. Next up, I made the docking module and decided to put my prawn suit on the back. That's definitely gonna be really handy because I've wanted to use the prawn suit more, but the sea truck makes more sense. Finally, I made up the sleeper module and it's pretty cool. You can play music in here if you want to. And I guess you can also sleep, which is handy enough, but 
I don't think I'll really use this one too much. I think it's about time that we make an actual base. So I picked this location right here beside the twisty bridges and the thermal vents and started making it. Uh, hello. What you doing in here, peeper? How'd you even get in here? This doesn't even make any sense. Uh, oh, oh okay, bye. Weird. <laughs> okay. I definitely have to say that the building in this game is far better than the first Subnautica. I didn't really enjoy base building in the first one. It seemed very limited, but this one, they've just opened it up so much more with these giant rooms. Oh, okay. Uh, I have no control. He is moving me around. I'm like stuck inside of his tractor beam. I don't want to pick him up, but like I need to do things. Oh God. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm not doing this. He's getting violent. Oh <laughs> no, stop it. Okay. He's calmed down. Yeah, okay, we just need to pick him up. It would have been cool to keep him in here, but like, he's just getting violent with me. So I spent about two hours building up this massive base and it still needs some work, but we're gonna probably add to it as we go along. Luckily, finding resources now is not much of a pain anymore because I have the scanner room to just locate all of it for me. Now I say it's not much of a pain, but sometimes the materials ended up inside of the mesh somehow. I have a massive aquarium, so naturally the only logical thing to put in here is a bunch of penguins. Ah, uh, look at these dudes. I'm pretty sure they're gonna grow up in there as well actually yep they all grew up now the question is will they eat the fish in there i kind of want them to spare me and i grant you three wishes hmm tempting but i am thirsty okay back to some story bits because i managed to stumble upon this new area it's not too far from where we actually crash landed and we got a new altera base over here along with the little snowman look at this dude it was at this point that i realized i do not have my scanner on me and now i have to go all the way back to my base and come back here I have no idea why I'd need to scatter a snowman, but apparently you can do this. After searching the Altera base, I found my way back here to this architect base. And the force field is opening. Cool. I guess it's probably because I have Alan in me. That sounds wrong. Alan told me we can make use of this area once he has his own body. I destroyed the snowman thinking it would give me a rebreather mask and an oxygen tank, but unfortunately it did not. Now I'm just a murderer. I spent a little while trying to figure out what to do next because I have no more leads on new locations or pings. The general rule in Subnautica is you go deeper, you find more story. So I started to think of a couple deeper areas that I knew of, and then I realized that I haven't really fully explored around Marguerite's area. I explored one side and didn't really find a huge amount, but then I explored the other side and oh boy, this is definitely the way. An Orion class creature is near. Yeah, I think we're on the right track. Also, I think I just peed myself. I found some kyanite down here, which means that I can craft up some new upgrades. Hmm, what's this? Oh, propulsion arm fragment. That sounds dope. Okay, I need to find one more. I was searching around for some more kyanite to grab, and then I ran into this big boy. Oh my god, that thing is massive, and it's coming right for me. Oh, oh okay. He can't get through there, right? That is the most terrifying thing ever. What what even is that mouth? It's like a weird like rib cage or something. Oh, okay, he's leaving. Oh, he's so big. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that is terrifying. I am not a fan. He is extremely scary looking. Am I gonna be okay? Oh my god, he's on this side. <laughs> okay, he's not coming for me. We're okay. <laughs> I freaked out a little bit too much there, but you know what? I think we're going to be okay. All right, there's the other fragment. Oh, is he coming back here? Oh, man, we got to get back to the crystals. It's his only weakness. I don't know if he's coming. Oh, no, now he's coming for me. Yeah, there we go. I, I don't want to get any closer. <laughs> Dude, that thing is so scary. Okay, let me scan you. I just want to know your name. No, come back. Ugh, I can't. I can't chase it. I'll just die. He just keeps following me. I can't ditch this dude. <gasps> oh, he just grabbed me. Oh my God, don't eat me, please. Oh, that is that is awful. I don't like looking at that. I really wish the prod suit had like a built-in scanner. That needs to be a thing in Subnautica 3. Ah, leave me alone. Stop. <laughs> he just keeps following me. I can't ditch him. I had to spend some time getting some more magnetite, but then I was able to make the propulsion cannon arm attachment. Then it was time to head back down to this scary area. Oh, and I finally realized I could shock them off my vehicles. Took me long enough. I spent so long trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go next. You see, this biome isn't really easy to navigate because it all kind of looks the same. And then eventually I found the next area. 
Alan informed me that there's another facility down here somewhere. I was speeding away from a Leviathan and then I managed to spot the entrance. This dude does not want me to go in here. He just keeps attacking me. Go away. Turns out you can't even bring the prawn suit in here. So this is the fabrication facility and this is, I guess, where we're going to build his body. So we already have his skeleton and his tissue unlocked, but we need his organs and I have no idea where to get that. I really thought that would be down here. So I guess we missed something along the way and we're going to have to backtrack to see if I can find it. Before doing that, I decided to go back to my base and grab all the components I would need for the body parts that I can make and store them inside my sea truck. I got a little lost trying to find my way back down to that area and managed to find this little entrance. Ah, go away. This looks kind of promising, but it is quite cramped down here. I don't know if we can fit through. Alan confirmed that there's another body part down here, so we are definitely on the right track. All right, here we go. Another alien base. <laughs> what is that robot doing? Oh, yeah, he's borked. I gotta put him down. I'm sorry, boy. Yeah, you too. You probably also have the brain worms. And there's the organs. You know, I think the only thing that I need now is those ribbon plants, and I'm pretty sure I saw some of those down here. And there we go. Ribbon plants. Perfect. We can make the whole body. You said this was the spot where I can make you a body, right? Yes. Once you have used the fabricator to build each component, we can assemble them. And then we can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as you are. So, Alan, you said your people came here in search of a cure? I was a researcher. You were a scientist? Like me? My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I said, like me. If that is your interpretation. So, how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind. My body. Perhaps you should build the next component. So you came here to search for a cure? I led the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. This is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacteria? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. We have all the necessary components. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the terminal. You still owe me an explanation. I understand. Commence installation in the fabrication. The escape of the bacterial was an accident. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Oh. I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this. What are you doing? Research. Tit for tat. You've probed my mind. I scan your body. Commencing day to Chester. Did it work? Are we... It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. Whoa. Hey. You're really not in my head anymore? There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. Make amends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Oh, no. We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. 
I was not wrong. But... It would appear that Sea Dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. And the bacteria got out, infecting everything. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. It was certainly manipulative. But I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. That is a heavy story to take on. I mean, everything so far has been his fault. Everything. The, the quarantine of this planet, like literally everything. The point of this whole game has been his fault. He is the architect of of all of this destruction and chaos. And I, I've just helped him make a new body. Yeah, uh, that is really messed up. I don't know whether or not I should have left him with the cube thing, but I don't know. At least we got to see an architect. I can't complete this game without at least trying to figure out what the hell this thing is called. This is definitely a suicide mission, but I need to know. What are you? Shadow Leviathan. Okay. Interesting. Uh-oh. Oh, get back. No. Okay. Pro dodging skills here. Can I do it? Uh, oh, okay. That really hurt. Okay. Can, can I scan you again? He's not going to attack for another minute. I could probably take one more of those hits. Let's see. Come on. Let me fully scan you. Come on. Ah, oh, we're so close. Dude, <laughs> get back here. All right, we got him. Come on. And done. Okay, let's get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. That thing could have been like a one-hit death. It really could have. Oh, that was silly, but at least I know what it's called now. All right, so I imagine that that little area over there is the end of the game. So we got to do a little base tour before we head on off. So... This was the little crafting and like storage room here. I probably could have added more stuff in here, but honestly, like this is fine. This is more than enough storage than I needed. I mean, we, we got our other essentials. We got the modification station. We got this thingy. Um, yeah, good enough. And then we got our little power room here and we got our little charging things here and a little thing with all of my batteries and stuff left over. We got the scan room over here. Pretty cool. We've got the moon pool that I used like once or twice. <laughs> I, I still haven't even like tried to see if I could bring the sea truck in here with the you know extra things docked onto it. I want to try that before I before I go. So then up here we've got the uh, the kitchen area which I put a good amount of effort into. I think it looks kind of nice. We got like a little trash can here, a little seating area, fridge, coffee maker, just some storage for the water and stuff, um, and then like a little counter here. I don't know. I think it looks pretty good. We got a vending machine just because why not? Let's actually pick out just a little bit. Yeah, here we go delicious uh we got our fish tank with all of our sushi in it um obviously i've been picking away at this honestly there's a bunch in there there's a lot of them in there right now they've just been breeding away uh i didn't plant anything in there unfortunately i probably should have done that but it's okay uh over here we got our penguins which is so much cooler and we got our little crab as well we got our little sea monkey it looks really cool i love these guys honestly i love that you can just find creature eggs and just do this type of stuff like this is so cool this little rock puncher, dude. I wonder if he would ever grow bigger. Kind of want to know. Anyway, uh, not a whole lot else going on in this room because this thing's kind of big. We got the bedroom here with the little office corner. Uh, we got the picture of <laughs> the penguin. Uh, we've got a little motivational poster. If you're working away, you, you need something. We got some plants. We got our little bed. And um, we got a picture of the cat, which I did notice has like a little cybernetic arm, which is cool. I like that little posters and everything i love that all this stuff is just in the game and you can just find it all like this is this is just such a scene right here i love that one so much uh jukebox we got the uh whatever was in here i don't even know extra posters apparently cool uh what do we have in here our little toilet with the shower and the roof where all the fish can watch me take a shit <laughs> oh man got a little mustache kit this thingy love it i really do uh oh that's one thing i never even made um what is it again i never even made this thing but that's okay don't really need to at this stage uh so yeah that's pretty much the base i don't know i think i i think i made something cool probably could have just added some extra stuff to it but honestly this works like uh, i love these big rooms this is such an improvement from the first game definitely love that they added this so anyway let's uh let's get let's get out of here let's uh let's go finish this game is this possible? Oh my, okay. Captain, 
Wait, what happened to the modules? Are they down there? Does it drop them off? Oh, it does drop them off. Oh, where? Oh, there, there they are. Okay, that frightened me for a sec. Okay, so now we gotta go back over to this facility that we were at before. Are you preparing to leave, Alan? Yes. There is much to do. This place looks insane. What the hell is that? Do you still wish to leave with me? Beyond this teleport, there is no turning back. Are you kidding? I can't pass up a chance to see where architects come from. Besides, I don't have another ride. I do not know what we will find there. The others may be sick or angry. If they live at all. Or you could find peace. Family. I hope you are right. Please complete any business you still have on this planet. Join me on the other side when you are ready to leave. Well, I think that's about it. Let's head on through. Damn, what is this place? We are really high up by the looks of it. Robin, you're just in time. The phase gate is opening. You've been hiding a phase gate here this whole time. Only for the last millennium. It will lead us home. No wonder you hid yourself from Altera. It was imperative to keep the homeworld safe, in hopes that the others survived. Yeah. Will you help me prepare the ship? The energy masks must be moved into place. Well, this is different. Okay, so we've got some of Alan's arms. All right, so I'm guessing we need to fix these pillars down here. Let's see, how do we do this? Okay. Well, I'm not in control, so if she messes up, it's not my fault. Yeah, okay, yeah. I had a feeling. <laughs> there we go. All right, one down, one to go. Okay. Oh my god, Robin. Seriously, don't drop it on yourself. Okay, let's get this one in place. And there we go. It looks like I did it right. Very good. Return to me, and I will initiate ship assembly. Really? I have to give back the arms? The masts are in place. The energy field is ready. There is no time to lose. That was crazy. Join me, Robin. Ah! Ah! God damn it, Alan. Stop it with the pranks. I apologize. The levitator was calibrated for heavier bodies. I would have helped you to your feet, but as you can see, I have been fully integrated with the ship. Is this permanent? Nothing is permanent. Are you ready to go? Yes. I found the answers I was looking for. I'm ready to move on. I can't bring Sam back, but I know she died fighting, and I got to finish her work. I'll always carry her memory. Good. Please brace yourself, and then we will depart. Launching in three, two, one. we find when we get there. If I am the last of my kind, I will experience the sorrow of 10,000 souls to me. And if 
they survived? With you, I am ready to face whatever awaits. <laughs>